who they are right now, but they, I tell you, they are the legends, and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I actually call them the Avengers. Well, the door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. That's, that's it. We cannot wait to learn more. Hideo Kojima, Jordan Peele, thank you so much, guys. All right, it's time for another game announcement. This one, 65 million years in the making. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer, Zed. Hello everybody, I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. Best audio design. And the Game Award goes to Hi-Fi Rush. Thank you so much. <笑>えー、信じられません。<笑>えっと、えー、このような素晴らしい賞をいただきありがとうございます。えー、制作チーム一丸となって取り組んだ成果を、えー、評価していた,いただけたことを大変嬉しく思います、えー。制作をサポートしてくださったあ皆様、また作品を応援していただいた皆様に
、えー、心より感謝いたします。本当にありがとうございます。Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has, to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets.、Um, thank you, everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there、um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers Rocket Racing. Here's your first look. Are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not, it only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That is your destiny. Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. The Destined One who doesn't even know what he's destined for? Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the Destined One. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Batman, 
Green Lantern, The Flash, Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. My Justice League will burn this Earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. Pick and choose, sit and lose, all you different crews. Chips and dudes, who you think is really kicking too? He's the fastest man alive! According to all these girlfriends. Feeling glad I got sunshine. So, what's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Suicide Squad and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch, but I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But, yeah, we Keeps have... going strong. I know, it's because our community is so awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you, but now, you have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. The Tano. There is so much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to SuperGameAwards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. <laughs> Super Nintendo World. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood.
life to the living. Death to the dead. We have sworn to protect the living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate and the invisible separate. To bring peace on Eren's souls. Once their grip on this world is broken. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Life to, to the living. Death to the dead. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Honoring my oath or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. This call is being recorded. What is your emergency? I... I need the police. You need oh, the God, police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You ready? Suspect down! Right is down! We got you! Watch the down! Oh, oh, cover! We gotta get you up! Look out! Ready? Officer's down and we need backup! Let's go! Get back! You can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go. I'm not going in! So, are you ready? on mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. Bonsoir everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make an impact. goes to Chia. Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, developer ourselves, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crippo co-founder of Ourself. I'd like to thank Ourself family for your trust and unbelievable talent, Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project, and the entire population of New Caledonia who championed 
and embrace cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs>
in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. Abandoned from your king. You thought you were a hero. <laughs> now, you are just one of us. Ordinary ghost, you have to risk your life. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balf, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for Most Anticipated Game tonight.
Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. What we've done, that's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, dearie. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Strap in, Newty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16. Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy 16. So, Kinsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. All right, nominees for best fighting game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. And the Game Award this year goes to Street Fighter 6. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Hades 2, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken 8. And the game award this year goes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Congratulations, Square and Nomura -san. All right. Well, it's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penacone, the next destination. Do you still remember it? Fables about the stars. Its stories tell of what is and what was. Its pages will always reveal something new. <laughs> Those are unforgettable memories. But they are only a beginning. We won't all be merrymakers. Suffering and joy will both be added to the final draft of the story. One of these pages, I'll appear in your story, too. Welcome to Penacone, young lady. May I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter Now is played in the real world, and tonight, they have a special in-game event going on right now 
with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available now for iPhone and Android, so check it out, Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Dinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel to tell us how did this come together, guys? Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan-favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane Leon, not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic 
passion. And that's why on Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sébastien Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, I said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. <laughs> I did. mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. <laughs> and I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dinga, why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> Well, if, <laughs> if my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down, ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person action adventure yes. set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So please sit back, let us cook, and voila, merci beaucoup, <laughs> merci. Wow, that, whoa. <laughs> Stunts too, Diga Bell, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement, all right, awesome. Thanks, Diga, all right. Now please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackey. Thank you. Everybody gave up. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here, okay? Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. Jeez. <laughs> Mr. Now, no Two one knows this yet, followed. so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Thank you for the follow. Because of our incredible fans. Much appreciated. Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, everybody get your motor revving, because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you! <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> okay, stop it, you! Okay, love you too. I see you. I see you. Shut up. Okay, today. <laughs> The best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content and challenges, right? And that's what this award for best ongoing game recognizes, the games that continue to deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Put it this way. No gun, no fun. The hour has come, Fritra. Let the magic begin! Okay, I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so the game award goes to shut up, shut up, 
Cyberpunk 2077. This is heavy, dude. This is heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a journey. What, what a journey it's been. <laughs> Holy. Video games are awesome. This is an incredible moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition, like the tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact, worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun, fun as hell. I, this is an exciting team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here. Please, <laughs> say something. And I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077 and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Let's kick it now back, he leads some, a new uh, studio, Lightspeed Wolves. LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, <laughs> it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's, it's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. It's uh, just like the old... Over the past few uh, years, uh, at Lightspeed LA, myself, and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. Tonight, we're really excited yeah, yeah. to no, offer you all um, a sneak peek. I seen the uh, uh, advertise earlier this morning. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, stream Seriously, this. I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future, but for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing, let's take a look, Steve, here we go. Tear it open. Yeah, bro, um, PC is definitely the way to go, but i seen um, GTA 6 is going to come out on PlayStation first. So, yeah, might get a PlayStation. Oh, hard help, bro. Lift That's us. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to try and stream more often. Just, um, you know, through those days. Now open your eyes, slowly. 
jamming Fortnite heaps though. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Take a breath and look around you. I'm doing something and not just you know not doing it, nothing that was the first descendant which is launching the summer of 2024 from nexon now we have a new look at hoyo versus next big game zenless zone zero in urban fantasy arpg i have my eye on this one for a while we had a gamescom and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at tga We brought in gamers to demo the latest Cyberpunk update, but we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> what do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40, 40 series? They're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. I would never have guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. The tide of war 
is turning against us. As we battle against the bugs, the automaton threat grows more menacing by the day. We need valiant soldiers to take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Join the Helldivers. Join the fight for freedom and list today. PlayStation. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up pure. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I did.
wow, that was the fabulous Poets of the Fall performing in the role of Old Gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life, something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. shared the same story, the same fate. A family of strangers. A strange family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. Whoever we were before this torture, we are now as one. Until the end. One final battle. My friends. Remember us. Joining me now is Ulf from Ten Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank, me for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look good, too, Ulf. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're working on something new, yeah. and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And you were one... known for payday things like that, so you're back yeah, back to some heist stuff. I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Okay. And yeah, it's you know. It we is announce what it, it is. to the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's yeah. finally time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Here we go. Mr. Bowman, your reservation at Manon Aphis is in one Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuroprodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. <laughs> Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Huh. What are you hoping to find in the Nexus Central? You mother... There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Yes! What's the key for? <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who. You see, just like me, you're caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves.
good to go? Easy in, easy out. That's our ride. That was Exoborn. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of The Division. And besides facing other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the forces of nature, unlocked the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse, as they say. Much more is coming in 2024 on Exoborn. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. Hey there. Uh, <laughs> I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Senzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. Gods take everything from mortals. Bleed these lands dry. Deny spirits their rightful passage. Turn worlds to ash. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. And with each possession, <laughs> you will grow stronger. Oh, dutiful guardian. Here to right your wrongs. <laughs> Foolish mortals, oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Oh, hello there. Now, how about we turn on some lights? changes. I don't want to 
set the world From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. I don't want to call. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? What, dude? Well, it says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> huh. yeah, there they are. Oh! Hey! Jonathan Noll and Mr. Howard. Good catch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Best Adaptation. A vampire messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? Oh, I got this. No problem. Oh. 20 years ago, the world fell, but that's where the cars and guns come in. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, the best game goes to The Last of Us. <laughs> Okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Naughty Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. Uh, we also want to thank our partners yeah, at Last Sony Pictures. Was pretty mean. A special shout out to Carter Swan weird, and the whole yeah, PlayStation nah. Productions team. Was a good, was and everyone a good, at uh, PlayStation. Meditation. Thanks so much. Thank you. I haven't watched um, Twisted Middle yet. It uh, looks good. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. I mean, it's evolved over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary. 
is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel, yes, I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making people feel things. That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024, but what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is gonna be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it, but what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents, you know, you can see oceans. So it's just like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're, s uh, we're very excited <laughs> to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if, you know, if people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> We'll be back, but no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go.
Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. Um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, just keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conqueror, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, Starcraft. Yes! I'm so happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Let's have a look. That was me. <laughs> See? <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. 
best action adventure game. You're the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. It's my fault. This is something else. Miles, get it off of him. We can fight this together. Your soul requires cleansing. How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. And the game award goes to, no surprise here, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. このゲームを作ったすべてのスタッフを代表してこのような賞をいただき本当にありがとうございます。I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this award, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. 我々開発チームはこのゲームをゼルダの伝説の中で最も壮大な冒険になるように一生懸命作り込みました。Everyone on the development team truly、uh, uh, gave their all in In making this game the best that it could be. Player の皆さんそれぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自のハイラルの物語となります。プレイヤーの皆さん本当にありがとうございます。Everyone's unique approach to playing this game、uh, can become their own personal story、uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and Starfield. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Here are the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin 4. Here are the nominees for Best Sports Racing Game EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Turn 10. The nominees for best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Marvel's Spider Man 2, And the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung.
heart is bullshit Blazing Still my heart is blazing If the words kill me I don't need a new one Oh, damn you Soon you will know We already know the smell of the cake ジャムセッションも悪くないわねうざって軽視できないな頑張ろうそうしよう<音声>そろそろ始めていいか Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. Someone's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Some sort of crystal. Souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitech War. It seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is, who? What the hell is an Iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. Welcome, my friends, to Mysidia. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Now to present our next award, Best Game Direction, please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for 
teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? Together, we must survive. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man, how to help you. What a beautiful day! Link, you are our final hope. You must find me. Amazing. And the winner is... Oh, Alan Wake 2! Thank you. Uh, we want to thank Epic, Hector, Nicole for believing in our vision. Uh, crazy vision. <laughs> crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles, we can make art, and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing, uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is gonna be coming out. <laughs> New story content, uh, so yeah, go play it, thanks. Thank you, thank you Game Awards. Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of the finals. When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're gonna make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, and enjoy.
That's right, the finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite user-created island of the year, and the winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map, and while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year, featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. for you to join the others and complete our destiny. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. And this one, I will let speak for itself. Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer, Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game, and wow, I gotta tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? Yes, Monster Hunter. Eh, 
。現状ですね、2025年リリースを目指して開発しています。Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone.、Uh, this title, back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you. Is planned for release in 2025. Wow.、Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? はい、えー、こちらのタイトルの続,続報はですね、えー、2024年の夏ごろ、えー、現状予定しておりますので、えー、しばらくちょっとお待ちいただけたと思っております、えー、それとですね、えー、今年カプコンがですね40周年を迎えさせていただきました、えー、この40年間、えー、応援してくださった、えー、ファンの皆様本当にありがとうございます、えー、これからもですね、えー、皆様に楽しんでいただけるいいゲームを作っていけるよう努力して、えー、頑張ってまいりますので、えー、これからも引き続きぜひよろしくお願いいたします。We plan on revealing more information about this game in、uh, the summer of 2024, so we hope you keep an eye out for it. Also, Capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary. I would like to thank all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these years. We couldn't have done it without you. Capcom will continue to create exciting. Fun games,、uh, and the best is yet to come. Excellent. Thank you, Rio. Thank you. Great to see you. All right. Well, now to present Game of the Year from the upcoming films Wonka and Dune Part 2, please welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. The、uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the Game of the Year were truly inspiring. Here, with a medley celebrating each of these games, once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra.
And the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners. Uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Sven, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce will return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12, 2024. Happy holidays. Good night.
Uncle Hems just followed.